Greetings and salutations. My name is Tish and welcome to the Artist Haven, where home plus art equals heart. In tonight's live video broadcast, it is Testing Tuesday. <laughs> that means that we're going to be trying out some new to me product, our new to us product. And before we get started, let me introduce my love, my darling, my executive producer, Mr. Michael Sean Carter. Why, thank Yay! you. Yay! Yay! Thank you, everyone, for being here on another Testing <laughs> Tuesday. And without further ado, let's jump right in and find out what we're testing. Okay, so we have been testing the last two Tuesdays um, this laser iridescent paste from Master's Touch. And we've done it in... <clears throat> Floatrol on its own. This is that one. You can see, I'm, I think I got better light this time, so you might be able to see the sparkle. There, this is really actually really cool. There is a lot of sparkle in it and on it and around it. There is a bit of texture to it. So, this is a good candidate for resin. And then last week, I forgot to spray the back of my canvas board, so it dried all warped and silly, but it's really dark and none of the sparkle came through and I was in hopes that something would happen with it but the first one we I mixed it um, the colors separate there was no color in with the iridescent paste and then this one I mixed it in with one of the colors so my assumption to do it in mix because that's what we're going to be using tonight is the mix pouring medium and we're going to be using that and I mixed it straight up with the iridescent paste in this cup and then um, I decided to go with um, alcohol ink or not alcohol inks um, acrylic ink and some golden fluid acrylic this is green gold which is actually one of my favorite colors because it it's, it's almost like a neutral. It goes with just about anything. Um, this is Liquitex Acrylic Ink Turquoise Deep. Let's see, is it going to focus or is it too close? It's too close. It's really small print. And then this one is the Acrylic Ink Liquitex Professional Acrylic Ink Impression Blue Hue. And it, I only put a few drops in there. So you can see it got fairly light. I probably could put, let me put another couple drops in there and give it a stir. But though I'm going to do a couple of different cups here. I'm going to put the paste on the bottom of the cup. So it's writing on top. I'm going to do it in the middle, various areas in the middle of the cup on these two. And then on the top of the cup, so it's underneath. And we'll see what happens on each one of the tiles as far as sparkly bits and all that. So... Um, we are not going to be live streaming. Hang on, I gotta count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Next week. Next eight, week nine. we are actually on our vacation yes. for this month. Yeah. So, so um we'll be and I will be announcing our schedule for July that week as well. Yes. So um we've got to finalize a couple of things. So but part of the summer schedule that we have for the year of 2021 that want to try to get out and get some stuff done. So yes. with that said, there, that's a much, I like that blue a lot better. So that is approximately 18 drops okay. to a, um, 35 grams of mixed pouring medium. It's a really pretty blue. And then the turquoise, I'm actually going to add a couple more drops and make that a little bit darker too. Um, I didn't add any more. This is probably, I would say, probably about 15 grams of mixed pouring medium. It was 35 grams to five drops. And now I just, it was, now it's about 15 grams and I just added five more. So it richened up that color a little bit. And this is one reason why I love mix so much because these are so beautiful. And I'm just going to use the green gold as it sits. 
And then we've got this iridescent paste. So while I'm getting the cups ready, Michael. Yes, you while you're know? doing that, let me throw out this question for you. This is from Julie, acrylic painting with Julie E. Yes. Her question is, is that like golden high flow or fluid acrylics? Yes, this, this is golden high flow. And these are alcohol, or excuse me, um, acrylic ink, which is a lighter body than these. These are more like an alcohol ink. Um, they're just like a highly pigmented acrylic base. And they are, the majority of them are transparent. Um, you can't see it there, but it's on, it's on the label. Well, golly gee, Wilkers. Thank you, Michelle. Um, but I use these like I use these. I've been playing around with them like alcohol inks. Um, I'm going to do a tumbler with them. So we're going to see how that goes. Um, they're also, for the amount that you get, they're a little less expensive. About the same price, depending on the size of the bottle you get. I mean, obviously this bottle... This was a gift from Miss D. So um, I don't recall how much these are. They're fairly expensive from what I remember though. Um, I don't get to buy the, the gold and stuff very often. I see it on sale and if I have money, I buy it. <laughs> so. Well, once again, thank you, Michelle. Michelle Yates, Abstract. Art, you are awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah. yeah. Four ninety nine of a super sticker, and I just want to say thank you so so much for anyone. We love everyone that contributes. It always helps out with the claws. You're you're wonderful in helping out the tribe. And talking about wonderful, let's thank our moderator Cheryl and Doris. Yes. Thank you so so much for all that you do each and every time that you're here helping out. And once again, we have another super sticker, acrylic painting with Julie E. Thank you, Julie. $5 super sticker. Awesome. You are awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> Disco Dabo, Disco Dabo. There we go. You better now. Did you get it all out of your system? Not really. Okay. Maybe later. Okay. After a couple more beers? No, no, I'm, okay. I'm, my limit is right here. Okay. So in the chat tonight, we want to say thank you to Linda, and we want to say hello to Clara Lawrence, saying howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy. Gina Bina Vinci is here. Hello, Gina Bina. Welcome, welcome. There's Darth Haster. He says hello, everyone. Hello, Darth. Karen Peabody. Hello, Karen. So glad you are here. All the way from Australia, there's Sue Ashworth, Resin Heaven Studios. Hello, Sue. There's Brenda, Creations by Baby Doll. Hello, Brenda. Let's see here. Who else do we have? <laughs> there's Elisa. Hello, Elisa. She says hi, all. Janice Pittman is here. Hello, Janice. Welcome, welcome. Darth Hester says, it's been a while. Hope everyone is doing well. It has been a while. Glad Darth, you're here. Definitely. Good to see you. Good to see you. So glad you're here. Pamela's here. Hello, Pamela. She says, hi, all. There's Diane McDivitt, Tony and Diane. Good evening, everyone. Good evening to both of you. Yeah, I want to thank Brenda. Hey, I tell you what, I took advantage of that special on those lights from Amazon. That was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. That was that was great. Yeah. yeah.
little special inside joke there. Michael, Michael's all about the Amazons, especially when he Sometimes. can find a bargain. When he can find a bargain, yeah, he jumps on that. How's everyone doing out west? We know the temperature is unbelievable. Julie's been talking about like 113 degrees out there in Arizona. I know it's hot in California. So sending cool vibes to everyone out that way because I hate to say this. I really, really do. But we actually have a cool pocket that's hit us here in southern Illinois. And it is really nice. So we've got several days of just nice weather. And we're really yeah. enjoying being outside grateful right now. Grateful for it. Yeah, very grateful. I was dying. I think I lost five pounds just this last weekend, <laughs> just by sweating it all out. There's Amanda Carpenter. She says, oops, I'm late. No, you're not. You're right on time. No. Yep. You're here. That's what's important. Thanks and for being here, here Amanda. I think we're pretty good. Trying to make it as even as possible so we can get a fair assessment. But we used up all the paint okay. in those, Good which deal. is awesome. There is Pia. Hey, Pia. Pia. Michael took the webcam that you sent us, Pia, into the into the Mac to see if he can figure out how to do some adjustments on it. If that's something that we can do in OBS or so. He's been playing around with it. Greatly appreciate it. Yes, we do. I'm very, very grateful for all the people. Donna is Help here. Hello, Donna Lee. Welcome, welcome. And I see Amber, Amber D. Mason. Hello, Amber. <gasps> Amber's here. That's yes. awesome. Hello, Amber. I haven't seen you in a while. Okay. You might cheat a little bit. No, I won't. I'll just put more in there. There we go. That way they're they're all empty. I feel better when they're all empty like that. So these are little one ounce, I guess you could call them shot cups. Um, if I got this as a, as a shot as a bar, I'd be really upset. Um, but anyway, these are this little one ounce shot cups. I get them at the dollar store. I'll show you the packaging. They are in their fancy department. <laughs> So you get 24 for a dollar and they hold the perfect amount of paint for a coaster. I am not kidding. So if you can find them, um, I mean, they're about the size of a medicine cup. So even if you can find medicine cups in bulk for a good price, go for it. All right. I need a drink of water. Actually, it's half water, half black tea. So, let's see how that goes. <coughs> Oof -da. Excuse me. All right, here we go. That's interesting. It left a bubble. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's got, it's got this whole little bubble thing going on at the bottom there. Oh, it just popped. It just popped. <laughs> that was kind of cool, though. Okay, I'm going to take and I'm going to cheat a little bit. You know what we haven't done in a while on a Tuesday? What's that, babe? We haven't done any trivia. <gasps> Michael, you're in charge of trivia. You're slacking. I'm going to have to work on that, get that lined up. Maybe over our vacation, we can sit down and come up with a list of trivia questions. I think for this occasion, what I might do is come up with some dad jokes. Oh, yeah. In honor of Father's Day. Well, we won't be live for after Father's Day. Or are you going to look now? Oh, Linda was saying trivia. Okay. I must have missed that. Hmm, let me think. Maybe something will come to me. Yes, use your Google. <laughs> oh, 
Google, everybody Googles. That's what what's, I'm saying. What's the, what's your the fun, Google. What's the fun of Googling? It, your Google. Because everybody, sometimes... Everybody likes to Google. Talk, if you, everybody's a Googling. If you are into, like, Star Trek original series or anything related to Star Trek whatsoever, dude knows more about Star Trek than I know about baking. I, I'm not kidding you. I really don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> I'm just a trivial pursuit game. All in my head. Ugh. Pia says she has to get back to work. Pia, so nice to have you here for the the time you spent with us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh oh, Scouts have my cow. Probably the neighbors are out in their yard, and he wants to play. Can't see why else he would bark. Well, this already has a lot of pretty sparkle in it. And this is why I like mix. Okay. We'll see how they dry. I think I got some dad jokes. Uh oh. Okay, so if April showers bring May flowers, where do May flowers come from? No, oh, wait a minute. I said that wrong. Okay, just forget it. Let me try a different <laughs> one. <laughs> Already messed that one up. Wait a minute. Uh, wah, wah, wah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <here we> go. <laughs> so, what kind of seafood does whales like? Fish and ships. <laughs> yeah, I didn't say these were going to be good. How do you make a handkerchief dance? Uh, with your, I don't know. You put a little boogie in it. Wow. <laughs> that was my dad's favorite joke. <laughs> well, that, that was that was clean enough for him to tell me. <laughs> You know what? I have to say. Oh, Evelyn, Evelyn Warner knew that one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I sort of Julie. Okay. Good deal. <laughs> I mean, I can tell a dirtier dad joke. It's not bad. You'd, you'd have to be like at least of a certain age to understand it. Matt Carvis is here. Hello, Matt. He says hello. Welcome, welcome, Matt. Glad you're oh, here. Matt Carves. Matt Carves. That's it. Okay. Matt Carves, welcome. Good to see you. He is in one of the channel memberships that I am in. Nice. Yeah. Dances he, with Aardvarks is here. Hello, sir. I think his name is Mike as well. Hello, Mike. Dances with Aardvarks. Awesome. Walks right into the bad jokes. Yes, you did. Sorry. <laughs> Welcome to the artist haven. You showed up when you showed up. You get what you get. Tell you what, I'm going to excuse myself for a moment. I'm going to check on our puppy dog, see uh, what's got him all riled up, and I will be right back. Yeah, go see what's going on with him. Poor dog. He probably hears us talking and be, and he's all like, why are you guys talking without me? We kind of spoiled him. Actually, if you guys are on the group, that was one thing I was going to do today, and I just totally forgot. And I guess I'm not going to sell these tiles because that corner is broken. I can always do another one. Okay. So, okay, so here's my dirty dad joke. <laughs> What's the difference between a horny toad and a tree toad? Give up. <laughs> a tree toad says, ribbit, ribbit. And a horny toad says, rub it, rub it. So, ba -dum, ba -dum. <laughs> that one my dad told me too, but I was a little bit older. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to torch these. There's not a lot of bubbles because it is mixed pouring medium. And I, I notice that 
when I'm pouring with mixed pouring medium, I don't get as many bubbles as I do with Floetrol and glue. So. <laughs> That's what she said. Yes, yes. <laughs> you missed my toad joke. All right, guys. So this was the one with the... I honestly don't think there's much of a difference. They all look pretty cool. But this is the one where we put the iridescent paste on the bottom. So it was first in the cup, last out of the cup. And then I put it in the middle on these two. And then it was on the top of the cup. So the first paint down on this one. So I think they turned out pretty good. I can see the chunks, you know, kind of poking out here. So I'm going to kind of just kind of poke it. There we go. So it kind of lays down maybe. Okay, we'll just brush it up. Okay. But especially on this one, and I'm going to try and cover the bottom so it doesn't drip. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but there is sparkle already in there. So I noticed it when I was tipping or tilting or whatever you want to call it. So that's kind of cool that they're already sparkly. So not next week, but the week after, you're going to want to tune in to see the dried results of these. If you are a channel member, you will get to see a sneak peek um, on the uh, community tab or in um, the members group. I have another picture I need to post there. I keep forgetting to do it, but I think I showed you guys in the live stream. If you are a members member of the YouTube channel or over on Buy Me a Coffee at Gold Level or higher, each week I go live on Friday mornings and we do a different art project. Some of it's related to fluid art, some of it's not. Some of it just kind of helps you repurpose like a, a pour that you don't like or something that you don't like and build something new with it. So that's one of our projects that we're working on. Um, I'm also hoping to bring in more <coughs> special content for members and members only, you know, members only. So if you're interested in that, click that join button and uh, find out all about that. Let me give you a quick close-up of these. I'm trying to make it so they don't drip on each other. That's my problem. So we're going to do this one first. So you can see there's lots of transparency, lots of cool stuff going on. And part of it, I think, is because, whoops, I had it tilted. See? That's what I was trying to avoid. I know me. I am a klutz. <laughs> I am a So Sue klutz. went from a dad joke where it was well, she she put it in the chat. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay, well, I'll have to check it out on the replay. Because I do go back and watch the replay so I can read the chat. Because y'all crack me up. Well, here it is. Okay. What did Pink Panther say when he stepped on that ant? Did ant. Did ant. Did ant. Did ant. Did ant. Now Sue wants to know if we want to know a dirty joke. <laughs> who wants to know? A dirty joke? Like, like, who, who, like who? a pig in the mud? Just yes. like what Julie said. Oh, Julie said. Julie's going to sell a dirty joke? No. <laughs> I know Julie too well. So Noah boy fell in the mud. <laughs> I hear dirty joke. Two pigs fell in the mud. That's like that's almost like those dead baby jokes that they used to tell back in the day. Oh my goodness. Dead baby jokes. Man, I remember those. I was in like sixth grade and I always thought that was just wrong. But then again, I'm I'm sensitive like that. <laughs> I've always been sensitive like that. See, there is a lot of sparkle. Can you see the sparkle on my hand? There's a lot of sparkle in this stuff. So I'm gonna um probably on members only live stream we'll use it for one of our projects. Um right now as it sits, would I use it in another acrylic pour? Yes, if I used it on its own. Or the other thing that I was going to try out is I was going to mix this with like an iridescent medium and have those two together playing together with some pouring medium in a painting. So that's my next experiment. Um, okay. Not so on the channel. But I'm not we got to hear this alive. one. Julie asked, why did the 80-year-old version... 
<laughs> Why did the ADO Eighty old version virgin <laughs> think she had crabs? I can't even talk. <laughs> <laughs> Julie, why? Oh, good Lord, why? Anyway. <laughs> Linda says, oh, do tell. <laughs> <laughs> and Dance with Thardberg says his ears covered. <laughs> good idea. <laughs> Probably a good idea. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get on this channel. <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. That's not, I'm not even going to put that out there in the universe. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's funny though. Uh, anywho. So join us tomorrow night. We'll be doing Artapalooza. And it'll be an extra special Artapalooza because it'll be the last one that we do before we go on vacation. So you're not going to want to miss this. Yes. And we're going to celebrate tomorrow. We're going to be celebrating because we are now at 1,500, 1,500 subscribers. And we want to say thank you. It is awesome. Yeah. So let's just keep it going. Absolutely. And we cannot do this without you. So exactly. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, anything else, Michael? As of right now, we just want to say thanks for being here this evening for Testing Tuesday. And we hope to see everyone tomorrow night for Artapalooza. If you want to join in on Artapalooza, I mean, please do. Yes, just let us know that you want to be a part of it and we'll get you set up. It's very, very easy. All you need is a cell phone and earbuds or a headset because this is what I use. So I use them because I don't like earbuds. I don't like anything in my ears. I'm weird. But um, that's all for tonight. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I appreciate you so very much. Remember, be kind to one another. Peace, love, and happiness.